continue our coverage of Sea Future 2025 in La Spezia, Italy. I am now with uh, German company Gabler, uh, and they unveiled uh, last week at an event in Germany this uh, very unique scale model. Uh, it's unique because it's uh, meant to be a torpedo tube launched USV, uh, unmanned surface vessel, and it's actually a family of uh, USVs because uh, I believe they uh, can conduct several tasks to find out all about it. Uh, I am meeting with uh, Leonard Glass, he's the business development manager at uh, Gabler. Leonard, uh, good morning, great to meet you. Good morning, thank you. Great to meet you too. So, uh, can you please introduce this uh, torpedo tube launched uh, USV to us? It's uh, very interesting and I'm sure our audience would like to know uh, more about it. Yeah, totally. So, um, today we are presenting our concept for the uh, uncrewed surface vessel right now, uh, the Raider and the Ranger. And um, these are both, as mentioned, torpedo tube launched USV. So this allows the submarine to deploy the USV in a submerged state. And after the deployment, the USV ascends to the surface, folds the mast and the keel like this, and then it's ready to use. The, the Ranger is for information gathering, so for ISR purposes. And we see this as a most requested um, configuration. And the, on the other hand, the, the radar is more like a single-use technical asset where the Navy can yeah, equip it with their own uh, effector to use it like a normal torpedo and neutralize a potential threat. And with these systems, we give the, the NATO or yeah, like uh, aligned uh, naval forces completely new operational capabilities that are fast, that are stealth, that are flexible and also cost-effective. Uh, Leonard, how did you and uh, Gabler and uh, your partner company came up with, uh, with the ID? Uh, is it a fully in-house project or are you working on this uh, with the German Navy? Is it related to Quartz Marine where the German Navy is looking to acquire more unmanned uh, drone systems? This is a completely in-house project right now, in cooperation with the company Flank. Flank is uh, based in, in also in the northern part of Germany, like, like Gabler as well. And Flank is uh, an expert in the field of modular autonomous surface vehicles. So Gabler is an expert in the submarine business and Flank in, in the USV business. And we took both of these capabilities, combined it, and this is the result right now. Can you tell us a little more about the performance uh, figures for the, the USV? Yes, and the, the USV, so the Ranger and Radar, are comparable to a heavyweight torpedo. So we have a length of four and a half meters. We have a diameter of 53 centimeters and a weight of roughly 100 to 150 kilograms, depending on the payload. Um, yeah, at the moment we have an endurance of 10 hours at a speed of three knots and the maximum depth is up to 300 meters. So that's quite uh, significant, so the, the USV is meant to res resist uh, underwater pressure. Yeah, yeah. How can this uh, solution benefit uh, the, the submariners and the, and the sailors inside the submarine? Mm -hmm. um, naval, naval missions are getting more and more complex these days, and there's a growing demand for unmanned or for uncrewed first capabilities, mainly to reduce the risk of the crews. And we want to dive into this problem, or into, into this topic, and with a decade, or with decades of um, submarine system experiences and the market access, Gabler is uniquely positioned to um, provide support and also maintain these next generation platforms. Lastly, what's the current status? Uh for this, uh, are you working on a prototype? Are you planning on some to run some tests? Um, yes. So, at the moment, we are moving very hard to to achieve the technical readiness. We expect to get the first prototype at the end of next month. Um, it's a bit of an so the engineering challenge is quite complex, um, but we expect to be conducting the first in-water test uh, in the first half of 2026. 
And this prototype is now designed to be a minimum viable product. So with the basic capabilities, and our goal is to reach out to the navies in direct or to other business partners in shipyards to, to get, a, get, get in contact, get in discussion, to get a feedback and develop with them together this system farther and increase the capabilities. So we can offer a tailor-made or perfectly tailored solutions based on the customer requirements and needs. This is what we try to achieve right now. All right, Leonard, then sounds like you're uh, moving uh, pretty quickly, which is uh, key nowadays in Europe for the, you know, the general uh, defense ecosystem. Uh, moving fast is, uh, is key. We'll be following this very closely. It's uh, very interesting and uh, we look forward to uh, learning more about this project. Thank you very much, Leonard. Thank you.